What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Blizzy HD coming at you with a commentary. And what I'm pretty much gonna do is just tell y'all a little experience I've had these past two years, which is why I haven't been active on YouTube. And I used to do this on my channel earlier, but uh, I, I stopped for some reason, and I'm about to tell you guys why. So, if y'all ain't know, I was a drug dealer, and I was like a serious drug dealer. Like, I was serious with it. I took it serious. I woke up, woke up, felt, went to sleep, and just dreamt about getting money. So, I was, I was doing that throughout high school, and... I want to say I regret it, but I, at the same time, I want to say I don't because of the amount of money I made, all the things I've gotten, you know, all the joys and shit that it brought. But the regrets um, are pretty much family looking different at me. Got to, you know, make them proud and shit, make them move. I got to move different and shit. So, yeah, I was I was selling some, some, some drugs. I wasn't just selling drugs. I was selling other things, like anything I could get my hands on. I was trying to sell, so it started off with weed, then it moved to pills, then it moved to weapons, when I say weapons, like brass knuckles, pocket knives, so, you know, I was, I was experimenting with my hustle, you know, feel me, and I'm not trying to brag in this video or anything, I'm just letting you guys know, like, what I've been doing, like, because I haven't been on YouTube in, like, two, two three years, and you know I'm trying to build this subscriber base back so I'm gonna just let y'all know what I've been going through so yeah I was selling drugs weapons anything anything really and like I was doing that every day like I wake up text people like yo you need some you need some loud you need some loud and then I go to school with like an ounce and then that ounce would be halfway gone because I went to like a private school so it was full of rich kids so I was making money like I was I, I'm not even lying I'd leave school with nothing less than a hundred dollars every every day and I'd only go to school I only go to school like three days out of the week so like imagine if I went to school a whole week like some days I just wake up and be like I'm not even going to school today you know I'm not gonna fuck with school today so so that's that's how you know my school days went and like the reason I'm letting you guys know about this story is because, like, it makes me who I am today, if that makes any sense. Like, the person I am today is because of the mistakes I made, the past. You know, that's what makes me who I am today. So, anyway, back to the story. Yeah, I was making 100 to $200 a day. You know, it was nothing. It was never anything less than 100 I was in a private school with a whole bunch of rich kids. Uh, I think we had like 1,500 students, and mostly everybody knew me, and that was a good thing. That helped me out a lot. Like, and I actually started selling weed because I had a part-time job, but I wasn't really fucking with it. Like, it wasn't giving me that much money. Like, it'd only be enough money for like some gas and shit like that. So. I needed to find a new way to make some money and then you know I just got I just ended up doing that and like it was it was really beneficial at the start like it was really beneficial for me but I know I was headed towards the wrong direction so what I do is um bring an ounce to school with me and take a couple bags and leave them in my car and then you know, throughout the day, you just walk up to people like, yo, you know, I got that for you, you know, I got that good shit. And then people would text me. And then, like, I had a system. Me and, my, me and a couple customers, we had a system where they'd give me money. And then they'd open their cars. And then I'd go, I'd go to the parking lot, go to my car, and then grab what I got to grab. And then drop it in their car. So that was our system. So it was a pretty good system. You know, I don't. You know, if you guys are listening, you know, it's a pretty good system, you know. If the teach if any teachers are listening, um yeah, I just ruined a couple systems for some people, but that's what happened. That's that's what kept me going, you know. I was doing that for like a good strong 2 years until this one fucking day, man. This one day I just woke up and I was like I just had this feeling where I was like 
you know what you know i don't i don't know if today's gonna be a good day or not but i just ignored it you know i was so blinded by money that i just ignored it so i went to school you know i had my had my pack in the car and you know i was making moves throughout the day until like i'd say like the middle of the day me and uh two people we went out to go because i had to give them what they had to get so we went out and then he got in the car and then as soon as he got in the car this is this is when I thought it was, I was set up because as soon as he got in the car, the school security guard pulled up to the car and was like, "I smell weed, get out the car." So, so he had to get out the car and uh, they patted they patted us down. I didn't have nothing on me, but he did. So he, I don't know, he he wasn't really that smart. I, he should have just put it in his pants or something, but he wasn't really that smart. So he, we got caught. We got brought to the office, and then. They just started questioning us, you know. At that point, I was already kicked out of the school, so it was like, you know, I could say whatever I want to these to these teachers. So I was in the office, like cursing and shit, like I don't give a fuck, like shit like that. And then they were just asking me questions, trying to get me to snitch on my competition or whatever. But you know, I wasn't really with that because you know my competition was my friends, so I wasn't about to do that. So yeah, they called the police. Police came through. Patted us down, took my stash. Um, what else did they do? They um, handcuffed us, and it was crazy because they handcuffed us, walked us out to school. Everybody in the hallway was looking at us. All my teachers, all my teachers that I've been through with, been with for like three, four years, they were just all there. And you know, it's it was it was pretty embarrassing on my part, you know. And I know they were embarrassed too because they were like, oh damn. I taught this kid, you know, this is crazy. I can't believe I taught this kid. So yeah, they brought us to the police station. I was 17 at the time anyway. So I wasn't really stressing too much. I knew I wasn't gonna go to prison or anything, but shit, you know, it was my first time getting arrested. So I was kind of scared, handcuffed us, handcuffed me to a, a bench, had me sit there for like two hours till my mom came. And then they just asked us a couple questions and then they let me go. You know, it wasn't it wasn't that serious. Well, it was serious, but, like, in my head it wasn't that serious because, like, it all didn't process till like, I'm going to say, like, a week later. Oh, shit. I'm going to say, like, a week later it didn't all process. But after all that, man, everything just, my whole life just changed, man. You know, family started looking at me different, looking at me like I'm a criminal or something, you know grandmother crying you know everybody disappointed in me so you know it was like damn you know can't do this shit no more you know i didn't want i had a little brother he was crying as soon as we left the police station like he was crying he thought i was gonna go to jail and shit so i was like damn you know i can't put can't put my fam through this no more so uh, i wasn't really fucking with it though so yeah i got kicked out of school private school so pretty much couldn't get into any universities or anything and three days later after that incident i moved to texas but that's another story but long story short man after all this man i'm just trying to change my life around i'm trying to do right you know i'm trying to do right for my family you know i'm trying to make everybody proud so i'm in college right now i'm doing whatever i can to make these good grades you know make my family proud and that's pretty much what i've been going through these past two years man it's been a long two years but you know hope you guys don't have to go through what i went through you know i hope you guys whoever's listening and whoever's selling right now just let me just tell you right now just it's not worth it you know the money is worth it i'm not gonna front like i miss i miss all the money the money is worth it but everything else you know it's not really worth it so I suggest you guys just dead that shit, you know, stick with that part-time job, stay in school, you know, do what you got to do, do the right thing, but, you know, I hope you guys enjoy this commentary, this is pretty much what I've been going through these past two years, you know, took a break from YouTube, I was like, fuck that, you know, I haven't been doing YouTube in a while, so, that's pretty much what I've been going through, I hope you guys enjoy this this little story you know i will be doing more videos like this because you know i feel like you know i feel like i'm a storyteller you know i feel like i'm a good storyteller these are all facts don't get me wrong these are all facts but you know i got some some good life experiences i can share with you guys so anyway please if you're new to my channel subscribe or else you're missing out
hit that like button share this video with somebody you know maybe it'll maybe it'll change change their their life around you know hopefully 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 but yeah <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next video it's been your boy blizzy hd i'm out this bitch peace